Welcome back everyone to Spurs 9501. Um, just finished watching the Wolves game. I hope everyone enjoyed the game. Especially the last 10 minutes, because the last 10 minutes really showed what we were all about now as a team. So, where do we start? I think I've done a number of things to say. Started off bright, some beautiful crisp passing, great finish from Johnson, and then it's all downhill from there. I thought that a lot of our possession play and our pressing was leading to nowhere. The way that we press with the kind of players that we have are leading to injuries, are leading to a lot of fouls, and are leading to a lot of problems that Spurs have. So let me just uh, open that up a bit. One of the problems I found watching Spurs today was that not only towards the end of the game were we mentally weak, but during from about the first after the first ten minutes, I thought we were physically weak, very physically weak against a strong physical uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers. This team was able to dominate many times when they were, and, and was always, I found a lot of the time, especially after the first 30 minutes, where we were, were completely always second to the ball uh, and a bit in awe and a bit in shock from uh, um, the way Wolves are playing. Just look at the corner count. I mean, how many corners did Wolves have? Yes, if they had anyone to take a proper corner, they might have had a lot more goals and a lot more chances. But you know, Vicario pulled off a couple of great saves in the first half as well and towards the, to, in before the goals went in in some of the in the second half. And um, it seemed that we might just about be able to hold on. We made a number of changes to, uh, going back to the physical side of it. Brendan, Brendan Johnson looked pretty good, I thought, and played quite well. But then Tired had no legs. After about 60, 70 minutes, he had a chance to finish that off. Beautiful move. That was probably one of the best moves of the game, apart from the goal, where um, he was slotted in. And he was almost one on one on the keeper, but he had no legs. And he just slotted it right wide, tried to lob the keeper. If he had legs, he would have taken it on and maybe he'd scored. And that would have been a totally different game, unfortunately. He did. Um, and that's where I come back to physical, mental strength of the team it was very weak. Some was weak. Today, I don't know what was going on with him, but it was pretty um, innocuous throughout the game. But I thought the worst player was when he came on for Angel. What the hell was he doing? Where was he? It's very, very poor, I thought. Very, very, very poor. It's clear that Benton Core and the Salsa need more game time. I mean, they definitely got the technical abilities and the skills, but they're just not at, to, at, to the pace of the game, and maybe that's because one's coming back from injury and the other one is um, uh, doesn't get enough time on the ball, uh, and one's also very prone to injury. Dyer, well, I'm not going to blame Dyer for this. He doesn't have the pace, you know, or the positioning. We just are a team that sent out three young centre backs. Well, we got rid of Davis and Jeff Sanchez, we put Rode on, and, and <coughs> uh, on loan, and uh, um, now we can't get them back and we're all stuck without a, uh, without a cover, so it's typical Spurs. I suppose the most final note I wanted to make was uh, welcome back to Tottenham, welcome back to the team, welcome back to the team that we always were, welcome back to the old Spursy ways, welcome and this is the team that we are, this is the team that we continue to fall back to, this is the team that we were under Mourinho, this looked like the team we were under um, uh, <coughs> Conte, I don't see any major improvement, I don't see any change, so welcome back to the old Spurs, welcome back to fighting for six, fighting for seven, watch us drop like stones out of the table and um, here we are. That's Tottenham Hotspur for you. Thank you.